Welcome everyone to this tutorial about building an affordable and compact EMMC testing tool. EMMC storage is a type of embedded memory that consists of NAND flash memory. Western Digital iNAND EMMC embedded flash drives provide high reliability and endurance for a wide range of applications. Our goal. Evaluating EMMCs has always been tough. Our goal is to give every embedded system designer access to our EMMCs with a very generic Linux-based platform. Why is it so difficult to evaluate EMMCs? When an application processor has a previous generation EMMC chip, you must first remove that chip before you mount the new MMC you wish to test. That's a delicate operation involving soldering and there's a risk that you might damage the board. Another option is preparing the board with a surface mountable socket, but these tools are expensive and you need enough mechanical space on the board to mount them. Using a Raspberry Pi A simple way to build a cheap and easy to use platform for EMC testing is with the Raspberry Pi board. Newer boards like the PI3 are completely bootable from USB. This lets you use the Raspberry's microSD port to connect an SD card, a microSD card or an eMMC as a secondary storage device. Connecting an SD card eMMC socket. All you need are an eMMC BGA 153 ball SD socketed adapter and an SD to microSD flat cable adapter. You can find these at many online retail stores. Make the Raspberry Pi board bootable from a USB drive and connect the eMMC device to the board using the adapters. Make sure to insert the eMMC chip into the socket correctly. Pin A1 of the eMMC is marked with a dot on the eMMC package. When you are booting Linux, you should not partition the eMMC main area or else the processor will attempt to boot from there. If you are dealing with a formatted eMMC, you must insert it after the Linux kernel boot has finished. The Linux kernel has the ability to discover and initialize hot plugged eMMCs. Checking the eMMC initialization in main registers. It is possible to check the eMMC initialization by looking at the kernel messages. You can check the boot partitions, replay protected memory block and eMMC main area sizes. You can also use root permissions to look at kernel system files in order to check the bus speed, the identification register and other relevant configuration properties. Write stress testing, data retention testing. Once the Linux kernel discovers the eMMC device, you can start your testing. It is important to remember that the device will be connected in VCCQ 3.3V by 4 data lines mode at 50 MHz DDR, so communication can't reach top speeds, which can limit testing performance. Still, it's possible to induce a write stress test. Western Digital provides specific Linux tools for monitoring the progress of eMMC health parameters during test. This is very important for understanding how a system designer should plan wear out monitoring. Western Digital iNAND eMMCs also support automatic refresh, so you can plan specific thermal stress tests to see how the device achieves superior data retention. Monitoring the health data lets you monitor the pace of the internal refresh operations. Other useful activities You can also use the Linux environment to learn how to use the open source tool MMC Utils, which is useful for SLC partitioning operations plus RPMB block management and other useful device configurations. The SLC partitioning is a one-time programmable operation. Once you physically partition an eMMC sample to SLC, there is no way to revert the operation. With a socket-based tool, you can create and test multiple SLC partitions of different sizes. The socket lets you connect and replace each partitioned sample. 
You can also use the board to clone existing eMMC devices. You can save the binary image of the eMMC using the Raspberry's Linux file system, then write the image file to a fresh eMMC at a later stage. Workload Analysis You can also use the Raspberry board running Linux to mimic software applications running on a final target system. Using debug software layers and activity monitoring tools, you can analyze workloads and explore how software wears out the eMMC and other storage devices form factors. Conclusions The eMMC tester is an easy and affordable tool making it perfect for implementing in a simple home setup or for educational and academic research activities. It can help you test and understand software tools for debugging eMMCs, paving the way for their use in more complex and compact systems. Thanks for watching and happy testing!